Okay, now let's cover fueling. As we mentioned in segment two, standard agility LNG fuel systems are designed to operate on saturated LNG with a minimum temperature of minus 200 degrees Fahrenheit and a corresponding minimum pressure of 100 PSI. If equipped with an optional cold fuel pressure builder system, agility LNG fuel systems can operate on cold or unsaturated fuel. Always be sure to fill your LNG system with the proper fuel. The fueling procedure shown in the following demonstration is the same for either fuel. So, let's get started as we demonstrate how to properly refuel your LNG vehicle. LNG stations are similar to diesel stations. Fuel is stored in large tanks and a dispenser pump is used. As we mentioned earlier, always put on the proper PPE before fueling. To begin fueling, Unless you have the optional pressure builder, make sure you select saturated or green LNG at the pump. Connect the ground cable from the pump to the vehicle tank. If pressure inside the tank exceeds 150 PSI, clean the vent connector with compressed air and connect the vent hose from the filling station to the tank vent connector. Open the gray handled vent valve on each tank and allow the system to vent down to about 140 PSI. This allows the fuel dispenser to overcome the pressure in the tank and flow fuel into the tank. Once this is achieved, close the vent valves and return the vent hose to the filling station. Never leave the vent hose connected with the vent valve open during the fueling process, or fuel may simply circulate into and then out of the tank and back into the station. Use compressed air to clean the fill receptacle and nozzle. Now you can insert the nozzle into the receptacle lock it in place, and begin fueling. The pump will shut off automatically when the fill is complete. Disconnect and return the nozzle to the fuel pump. It's important to point out that the single receptacle will fill all tanks. Now, before we close out fueling procedures, let's cover transporting and towing LNG vehicles. When transporting LNG vehicles by decking or piggybacking, or towing, it's best if their LNG tanks are empty. If an LNG vehicle with fuel aboard must be transported or towed, precautions must be followed to prevent liquid fuel from venting out of the vent stack if pressure reaches the relief valve setting. Before transporting, the fuel gauges must read less than 1 8 full. Drive or run the engine to reduce tank pressure to the pressure control regulator set point, 120 PSI, before mounting to the tow vehicle. The driver must monitor pressure on all decked truck tanks at the beginning and end of each trip. The tanks must not exceed 200 PSI at any time. Any tank at or above 200 PSI must have the tank pressure reduced to below 180 PSI by either running the engine or manually venting the tanks. That completes fueling procedures. Now we're ready to cover the daily inspection process.